Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you some of the best base locations in Grounded. So starting off here at number one is actually going to be on the picnic table here. You can see that I've actually transformed the notebook on the table into a pretty small, cozy little base that also has access to a built-in zip line, which will bring you straight over to the sandbox. Now if you work your way down here as well, you also notice there is a molar right beneath, and of course you have access to some high-end, like late-game materials. You've got the gum there, you'll have splinters all over the picnic table, and then down below, this specific little flower actually has all the little splinters you need to make your arrows. There's about half a dozen boulders down there for your pebbles, and there is over two dozen different uh, deposits of clay. You got plenty of stems. There's like the huge stem forest all the way over there. All the stems you could ever need. I think there's more stems here than there is anywhere else in the map. And of course you have plenty of planks, and then there is the sandbox. And then on the other side here, you also go through and have the uh, barbecue area as well. So you're going to be needing that for some of your upgrades and the oven later on as well. Now, so this is, I think, a solid spot, but I mentioned it is pretty small, and you do have to keep to the confines of this location because the bees will get aggressive with you if you get too close to the honey pot over here. All right, let's move on over to number two. All right, so this location is actually going to be directly below the last location here in the picking table. I wanted to create this one because the other one's pretty small. So if you decide, you know, when you first start the game, you want to work your way up there and then you want to move down here. Or if you just want something bigger, you can actually build on the actual picnic table. It provides some structure, um, so you won't have to worry about things getting knocked over or falling off just because one thing gets broken. And you can build literally all the way across and create a giant land bridge, or you can just make this giant platform with the base. And the great thing is that the bees towards the back half of the picnic table will not be hostile towards you. And then you are so high up that all of the creatures on the ground actually cannot see you, will not attack you. I think really it's just two infected ladybugs. Uh, once the haze has been put out. But yeah, it's a pretty easy thing to do. Not a lot of hostile creatures in an immense amount of space to build. The only downside is you're not quite in the middle of the map, you're more on the side of the map, but in regards to being a very spacious area, and being able to choose between a small cozy area and then a large platform area, it pretty much has everything you can need building-wise right here in this location. All right, let's move on over to number three. All right, now this third location here is actually, you can see the oak tree there in the distance. We're actually super high up, almost as high up as you could possibly be here. It's just right next here, next to the wheelbarrow. And you, I use the logs here to build a staircase, but the reason this is great is you actually are high up here. There's a ledge and you actually have one of the research centers built in. You can see the moth down there on the actual wheelbarrow as well. Basically, nothing can kill you up here and it's super easy to be able to get up here once you do be, uh, build a stairwell. Now the thing is, is uh, getting the materials up here could pose some difficulty, but the great news is, is here's a little tip for you. If you are in New Game Plus and you unlock the handy net, if you can go through and keep your character somewhere down low with a treasure chest or even a couple of pallets, and just put them in a little safe location, almost like a box for a house and a thing attacks you, and then you fly your gnat all the way up here, you actually will pull the resources from those chests that are close to where your character's at. So if you choose to build up here or anywhere else that's really high, that's going to be a great tip to be able to help you make that happen without having to constantly haul stuff back and forth. But overall, I think this is one of the highest points in the yard, which makes it on this list, or which makes it be on this list due to just how high up it is and how safe it is and really just how much space you have. All right, let's move on over to the next one. All right, now this next one here is not quite as large. It's actually gonna be in the back of the map just next to the termite heel here. You're gonna work your way up this little log here and then you can see that I've actually built on top of the stump. There's two ways to get up here. One is much more steep than the other, it's the hatchet. But you can notice I basically just built some walls here and uh, you've got quite a bit of space to still work with. You have the hatchet that divides it down the middle and you got the stump that protects you for natural protection. It's already pretty high and then if you reinforce it with walls, it's really, really high. And then, of course, again, you have a research station. Having a research station in your base is just fantastic. It makes things so much easier considering you'll constantly have to go back and forth anyway to get materials. So the fact that it's there when you get home is awesome. And realistically, you only have two threats. You do have the termite hill, which will have small little termites down below. But they're actually pretty far away from you and actually will leave you alone. There's nothing really that's going to come up and bother you. Um, they're just going to hang out down here and you'll be good to go unless you come down here and fight them. They're not going to bother you. And then the only other creature you're going to have to worry about is if uh, you look up top here, the tarp area. You do have a couple of the uh, enemies up here as well. I think it's the mosquitoes. But uh, they just tend to stay by the tarp where the water's at. They're actually not going to come down that hill to come mess with you or bother you. So you're in a pretty nice little spot here uh, for some of the end game content and farming the bosses as well as some of the higher end materials. As you do have the toenails over to the side here and a couple of the flower petals and uh, some food. Yeah, it's a really good spot. Um, just another unique spot. All right, let's move on over to the next one. All right, now this next one here, we're actually in a building right here next to this swamp area. Now I know what you're thinking, swampy water usually equals mosquitoes. And yes, there is mosquitoes on the edge here of the water, but we're gonna actually be doing those. We're actually gonna be building in the crevices of this rock 
and walling ourselves off. And the only real concern you would have outside of those mosquitoes is there is a den right here that does have a wolf spider in it. But we're actually building in between the rocks. And there's quite a build of natural protection, basically indestructible materials here with the rocks. Um, and we're just going to basically fill in the gaps with some walls. Uh, and really nothing should bother you once you are up in here because unless they're chasing you, um, everything is sealed off and they really shouldn't be able to see you or bother you. So again, yeah, unless you lead them to your front door, it's pretty, pretty good, and there's quite a bit of space to work in with here. Now, the downside to this one in comparison to some of the previous ones is that it does lack the research station, uh, but you are in still a pretty good place for prime real estate, being just below the barbecue area there and the picnic table, but you're just in a little bit more confined space, so if you're looking for something a little smaller or cozy and not so open, uh, this would be a great spot to check out. All right, now the next one here is actually right here next to the hedge. Uh, I can't say anything other than the fact that big area, it's flat. There is nothing in the game that is bigger than this flat area. It literally runs for this entire deck all the way over to the front porch. Uh, you cannot actually build on that bench there in the corner or the window seal with the plant up above, but you can build all over the entire floor all the way out. And there is more space here than anywhere else in the game. Now, the haze when it is on will cover the back half of that porch over there. But until you turn that on, you can build on this half. And the other great thing is you actually have this tree stump right over here that sticks out this giant branch. And if you bridge out here, you can actually place sap collectors on this here. So you actually have a sap source really, really close to where you would want to build. Again, if you go too far to the right, you'll fall into the haze here. But uh, overall, even before the haze, you do have some building space here. And it's definitely worth checking out. All right, let's move on over to the next one. All right, now this next one here can be a little scary if you don't know what to expect. So if you look here, we're actually right here next to the hedge on the other side here. Now, the only problem with this is do not build the stairwell. Well, I built the stairwell as directly below you is actually going to be one of the Black Widows in that rock there. So I'd recommend you build a stairwell on the exact opposite side. So there's no possibility of either the Spiderling or the Widow itself crawling up here. But once you are up here, it's just this giant flat rock. You can see that there was some gum over there. Uh, and you are in still a pretty good space, close to a lot of the higher uh, re resources in the upper yard. You can see the castles over there. It's far enough away to where the mosquitoes or the tiger mosquitoes will actually leave you alone. And uh, you just have this giant flat space. Now, I would say you probably have to build a second level, as you do have some of these non-removable leaves here on the bottom. But you have just so much space to work with. You could put the back half in the lower section here and just build directly on that and then build a platform here in the front half. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Let's move on over to the next one. All right, now this next one's gonna be a little bit weird, and some people might not say it's a great base location, which is totally fine. Uh, you know, it's very opinionated, which is totally okay. But everybody likes the oak tree because of how tall it is. It's in the middle, and you can set on zip lines. Well, this pipe is not actually in the middle, but it is just as tall as the oak tree, or pretty darn close to it. And basically, you could spiral your way up here and build all the way up. And because it's in the corner of the map, you can actually go through and circle this whole thing with platforms and send on zip lines to every single direction in the yard and accomplish something similar like you would there at the oak tree. You're just losing the fact that it's not central, but if you do like the side of the map or you like being right next to the sand pit, then it could be a pretty good option. All right, let's move on over to the next one. All right, now this next one here is a lot more humble than the previous ones. Everybody seems to like building next to the oak tree. I know I sure did, and I always have quite a bit of hard time actually moving away from it. Now, if you just go directly across from the oak tree here, you notice that there's two platforms on the rocks that actually stick out. The middle one here, the one I just pointed to, actually has the milk molar on it. So you can go through and break that. And you're close to being over the water. And over there, you do have a couple of infected after you turn the haze off. It'll be a ladybug and a larva. And on the back side here, you will actually have a couple of mosquitoes way over in the distance. And eventually, you'll have three wasps if you go through and work on the wasp storyline. But they will not come to your base if you keep to the confines of this pretty middle area here. And again, you're semi-central and you're close to the oak tree. So if you wanted to go through and build a zip line over there, you could certainly do so. All right, now moving on over to the next one here. It's actually going to be this can. Now, there's cans all over the yard. Doesn't have to be the specific one, but sometimes I just feel like they're not taken advantage of. And so basically you can go through and you want to build a piece of stairs or something and give you foundational support on the outside because you can't actually attach anything directly to the can. But once you do have some sort of foundational support, you can actually mesh the buildings into the can, which doesn't look so great on the outside. But if you're looking for some pretty durable protection, it could be a pretty solid way to give yourself one or two different floors early on and not have to do all too much. But if you do lead something up to your doorway and that initial foundation support gets broke, so if I go through and actually recycle this or break this, the entire base will fall apart. So you do need to try and provide multiple layers of support on different sides, or you will possibly face the risk of your entire base being collapsed. But overall, it's a pretty safe, small, little base. All right, let's move on over to the next one. All right, now this next one here is actually going to be pretty awesome because you basically have access to it the moment you start the game. It's literally going to be right here next to the initial machine. 
and uh, basically you walk over to the machine here and then you look around you're gonna look for the research center and if you see that just up the hill here to the left of it you have this giant plateau i've actually used the bombs to go through and clear the area as there's quite a bit of stuff actually up here but once you do go through and clear the area you have a massive amount of space to work with and it's you know fairly flat ish outside of the holes there but it should be pretty easy to build a pretty good sized base and you are elevated and the only real threat you will actually have here is going to be over here in the corner if it, you stay up too late, there will be a wolf spider that patrols starting from right here near this water section and this little here over to this specific spot. But they will not actually walk up to your base unless they actually see you or aggro towards your location. So overall, it's a pretty decent spot and it can be great because you can start there and build up quite a bit of resources until you decide you want to move on to a bigger, better location. All right, let's move on over to the next one. All right, now this next one is actually really cool. You just have to know how to actually make it happen. So you can actually go through and see that the stump is right there and we are located here on the map. Basically, it's just this giant tire. Now, the tire you cannot actually attach anything to, so you do have to build a set of stairs on the outside to create some sort of foundational support. As you can see, nothing will actually attach to the tire. So this is one of those things I would recommend creating multiple foundations just in case one does get broken so you don't lose your whole base. But as you notice, you can build all the way in here, and you can build this awesome enclosed area here, and you are completely safe. Now, directly below you, though, there is some water, and in that water is the level 3 water fleas. Now, if you get too close to the water or you build on the water, they will aggro to you. And when they do aggro, you can't build. So it may be possible to, or I would recommend, I would say, coming in here and possibly killing them if you plan to build in here. So you have a couple days of uh, peace without them being here to build. And then if you stay high enough above the water, they will not actually aggro. And it's a pretty safe location as nothing else is going to basically crawl its way up there to actually attack you. And you're in the upper yard with a huge amount of safety. All right, let's move on over to the next one. All right, now you know I could not make a top base location if I did not include the oak tree. I didn't want to put it at first because it would be something everybody would expect, and of course, well, everybody's going to use it. Like I said, I've had a hard time moving away from it. You start here. It's where one of the first missions is located. It's basically the most central thing on the map. It's huge. It's high. It has so many benefits. Uh, but after you build here so often... You know, it just, it gets boring, but it also provides some comfort, so it's hard to move away. So that's why I definitely needed to include it here, but I didn't want to put it as first, because I did want you to see some of the other options that may not typically be something that you think of. Of course, Oak Tree is great, and that's why it's on this list. Now, if you don't want to build up there, though, some place I would actually recommend is actually going to be down here. Now, the rock here over to my left, if you go a little farther, you're actually going to have an Orb Weaver Spider that patrols back and forth, so that can be a little dangerous. So you don't want to build too far over here on that side, and the mosquitoes will actually come out eventually. But if you go to the right here of where the fruit punch is at, and you go up to the rock that's located here, you actually can build something pretty large here with this giant rock that's here on this side. It'll create a pretty nice platform, and it actually can build all the way out to the water here. And the orb weavers behind you are far enough away to they're actually not going to walk over and ever bother you. So it's really a good location, and the only thing that will ever walk up near your base typically is just going to be a weevil, a red ant, or an aphid. Pretty solid spot. It is near the water. Uh, which looks real pretty, make some great screenshots, and of course you can build as large as you want, uh, at least, you know, vertically anyways, and it will also be pretty central because it's right next to the oak tree. All right, let's move on over to the next location. All right, now this last location here is actually going to be a water base. I feel like I needed to spice it up here and just throw something kind of random that nobody else may try or really don't see out there. And I'm not necessarily saying it's the best base out there because it is on the water, but it's a pretty cool idea. I mean, we might as well incorporate some of the building pieces that we do have. So on this far right side here, you're not going to encounter any mosquitoes really or any wasps unless you trigger a raid. And you have access to this giant tree stump here in the middle, which is actually going to allow you to go through and gather sap without having to walk all the way back over to the actual oak tree, which is a huge plus. And then being over the water, there's really not going to be anything that bothers you. You have absolutely nothing that's going to try and kill you unless you fall in the water or again, unless you trigger a raid. So overall, it's a really, really great spot. Uh, or, you know, I would say it's a great spot. But a very unique spot, and there's nothing else in the game that's quite like this, having this serene ability to build out over the water. All right, and that was actually the last base that I've got for you. Let me know down in the comments if you think that I missed a base that should have been on this list. If you did enjoy the list of these top bases for granted, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you're not already.